Okay, I was too lazy to cut out there. Uh, I just muted my headset and shouted on my mum. At least I think I muted my headset. Uh, anyway, right. Now, this is going to get a bit confusing, but I want to tell you guys this, because this is, this is worth knowing, I guess. Right. You remember that scene, how the Ice Demon's uh, story ended, and uh, Pietro went was seen on top of the roof playing the uh, flute? Right. The first game... There was three games released in Japan, as I explained earlier. The first game was all about the Ice Demon and Pietro trying to find his lost mother. That's past now, right. That game was called Popolacroix Montegari... I can't remember. It was called Popolacroix Montegari. We'll just say Montegari. I'm probably saying that wrong, though. Uh, the second game was called Popolo Rogue, and was kind of a spin-off. And the third game was called Popolo Christ Montegari 2, you know? Now, Popolo Christ Montegari 2, the third game in the Popolo Christ series, actually opens just like that, with Pietro sitting on the roof and uh, the minister coming to find him, you know? And it also opens with him going to do his trial and meeting Narcia, which I'm about to do, you know? But here's the thing, right? You saw just now when it opened about the Dark King side story. Well, this is actually... This Dark King side story that we're about to embark on, which is, you know, the second act of the game, never actually appeared on any Japanese Popola Christ game. It was, it was made specifically for the PSP release, which I think is kind of funny, you know? So... I used to be a bit confused thinking the second act in this game, you know, with the Dark King, was what well, the second game in the Japanese was actually based off of, but it wasn't. Popolo Rogue was actually a completely different story, which took place after the first game, but didn't uh, have any lasting, you know, impression on the story as a whole, you know? So yeah, and it's interesting because I'll tell you, I'll be sure to tell you when the whole exclusive saga of the PSP Dark King story starts because it has something quite interesting that fans outside of Japan never got to experience at first, and I'll be sure to point that out. But for now, my mum wants me for something, so I'm going to have to stop recording today. Okay. Uh... Ah, you know what? Saw that. I'll just keep playing. No, I don't want to... Oh god, I keep pressing X! No, leave! Right, we'll play up to a certain point. Right. And yeah, Gone and Dawn are fucking useless. Like, they are embarrassingly terrible. They're so goddamn bad and these enemies are really weak. What sort of skills do they have? Oh, cry. It's all pre You'll see soon enough why they're so useless, by the way. I'm surprised. They're treated as, like, main characters, kind of, but this is the only time you really play as them. And you'll find out soon enough why they're so pissed. Okay, just watch, just watch. In the meantime, let's just get through all this. Listen to them! What level are they at? Pietro's at level 20, they're at level 15. Well, that's reassurance that I'm over-leveled. Right. Off to... the Forest Witches. something here I can use. Popolo Slash. Ah, Kakani. Never mind, never mind. Can I use Slice and Wind? I'm probably going to regret using my MP, by the way, for reasons you'll see shortly. And here comes the quirky music once again. Oh, 
Oh, it's easy to get lost in the forest. It all looks the same. Grrr. Yeah, sometimes we hear monsters roaring. Huh? Eek! No. What? Just kidding. You thought we'd run away, didn't you? We've become braver like Pietro. Right. Now, you may think... So. You may think that's a running joke or something where Gone and Don, like, do that all the time, but just keep watching. Right, what does this do actually? Scope when we use damaging enemies in the surrounding area. More awesomeness music. Why do they sound like overly eager, I don't know, rednecks or like s super serious samurai? That's kind of the voices I get from these guys. And he's dead, and we don't care. Seriously, these guys are gonna die, and I'm gonna let Pietro get more XP, you know? Well, I don't know if he does get more XP from it, but... You know, like I said, we're not, I'm not gonna bother wasting items on these two. We'll be good, we'll be good, don't worry. Healing water! I'm surprised he hasn't told... I'm surprised he hasn't killed Gon yet, actually. I hope he kills Gon, because I want Pietro to get more experience. Come on, Hellfire. Yep, he's dead, thank god. Right, now the... Now it's probably a pretty slow, uh... Until we actually beat him. This fight really should not be that hard to, because it's like, you know... The first fight you do in the... Ah, there we go. We win. Oh, they still have forgotten this game. You still get experience even if you die. Wait, didn't I already point this out at the beginning of the, L the LP? Well, well, you sure took care of him, huh? Greetings, Gilda. Prince Pietro, last time I saw you, you were just a baby. Narcia, come out and meet Prince Pietro. Gilda! Hello, Prince Pietro. Um, hello, Narcia. 
All together now. <gasps> ah! What's wrong with this weather? It's been getting cold, so cold. Come on inside. Oh, you snuck a peek, Pietro. We saw that. 